So the Meg program brings in year nine girls to this one day where you know, 60 girls get an opportunity to experience what engineering is like a day in an engineer's shoes. And I decided to look into Meg because I'm very interested in all the STEM application cells as well as just engineering in particular because I enjoy creating and building and coding and all the problem solving. Programs like Monash Engineering Girls are really important for girls because most of the time females don't get an opportunity to learn about engineering. They often don't have a relative that's an engineer or have any exposure to it at school or other places. So programs like MEG allow them to see and hear what um, engineering does in the world and it can be a great inspiration for them to take up that as a career. It's really cool to see people who have the same interests and like connect on a level that you normally don't with people with mixed interests, I guess. It's like nice to relate to. For us at the Steam Engine Co, we've designed our workshops where they build a miniature city experiencing the different disciplines of engineering, everything from uh, building the underground pipelines, which is what a chemical engineer does, to building the buildings, which is what a civil engineer does, but then it's also the intricate side. You know, the environmental engineers will have a say in the types of materials that you're using in the buildings. Then the materials engineers will come in and talk about, you know, the, the, the specific science behind the types of materials to make the building strong. <laughs> The workshop is really good and it's challenging and it's changing, it keeps changing, like we're integrating cities now. But I think I enjoyed the lecture the most. Like it was really interesting to learn about the different thermal properties and the um, professor was really good as well. Faster, um, more energy efficient and more I didn't really know what engineering was when I started university and actually my mom sort of looked up something on the internet and said maybe engineering is, is, is interesting to you and so I kind of started down that path and then I kind of stumbled into materials and I, and I, I really loved it. So, um, you know, I think the point is that it's okay if you don't know what you want to do. Um, I think the most important thing is to follow the things that interest you and that, and that you're passionate about because you'll really only be good at the things that, that you're interested in.